question that I got from uh, a gentleman, you know, with the rising inflation, rising rates, I know a lot of people are very intimidated by the environment that we're in right now. And I can tell you that uh, when I first got into this business in July of 2007, I bought a couple buildings. When I had finally finished rehabbing those and put them into permanent financing, that would have been in summer of 2008 my rate was 7.25 percent so a lot higher than what we're at right now but my building still cash flowed it still was a great deal so don't be intimidated by high rates if I see a good deal I'm gonna buy it I could give two shits what the rates are at you're not thinking of the fact that rates go up they also come back down so if the deal already works at six percent or seven percent what happens when we go into a recession and the Fed cuts rates and now you're down in the four and you refight into the force, think about how your cash flow is going to look then. It looks even better. So it's that mentality of you can't look at things as they are. You have to look at it as what it's going to be when rates reset. So don't, don't be intimidated by high rates. I will continue to buy as much as I can. As long as the deal makes sense, you know, we're doing deals. With the interest rates going up, do you think that's going to be affected? It depends on how developers structure their debt at the onset. So most developers, when they're doing new construction, will have a short-term balloon note. You know, they'll have a three-year note to get them through construction, lease up, and then, you know, they'll, sometimes it'll roll into per perm, most of the time it doesn't. Most of the time the bank then is expecting them to then go out to the permanent debt market. On larger deals, they're going out to the institutional markets. The problem with that mentality in my mind is that you know if you started construction on a deal last year you're coming in at three and a half percent and that's what you're running your numbers at when your deal is done a year or two from now you're at six or seven percent I, I don't know how you you projected for that so that's a major problem that's not how I do things when I come in on a deal I always make sure like on the deal that we walked through today I have a seven-year note at 25 am word at 3.75 percent so I can write out any storm I'm not worried about that but the benefit of that long-term note is that I can always back up so over that seven years if if we have a horrible recession and the Fed says okay now it's time to cut rates then I can then go okay now let's do a cash out refi now rates are at four now give my money back out and now let's roll it into another project so my advice is when you're coming into a project try to get as long a term note as possible at the onset because you're in an environment right now with interest rates where if you tried to if you tried to make a bet with me right now where interest rates are going to be in February next year you couldn't do it and, and to be in that environment that's uncomfortable so I would much rather lock into something long term ride that out and then when the economy goes into the shitter they're gonna cut rates and then you have an opportunity then to get back out of it and get your money out